All right, the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen is about to come alive on a Monday, an Easter Monday edition on Wake Up Nigeria. To my right, I have the delectable Chef Shu. Welcome to the show. I'm happy to be here. Good morning. Oh, she's, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute, right? She's so cute. Um, and I say cute because her voice is all cute. She's wearing a pink and white uh, chef's outfit. And she has some sweet looking ingredients on display here. Thank you so much, Chef Sheon, for coming to talk to us, or rather, yes. coming to share your recipe with it's us. It's a pleasure. And to my left, who do we have here? Arafa. Arafa <laughs> Ukonga. Yes. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. You, you look amazing, by the way. Thank you. And congratulations mm -hmm. on everything you did on Friday. We're going to talk about oh, that yes. later on. Oh, yes. uh, but welcome to the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. Thank you. Uh, and here we've, over the years, had so many great, amazing meals prepared that we decided to involve you in the process today. Yeah? All right. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm good. All right. What are we making today, Chef? Okay, so this morning I'll be making... Um, I think it's a favorite for most people. I'll be making banana bread, but I call it the rich banana bread. The oh. rich yes. banana bread, okay. <laughs> Why is that? Yes, because it, it has a lot of ingredients in it. For the way I make it, it brings in fruits, spices, nuts, mm -hmm. and a whole lot of it. It's just healthy. Okay. So I call it the rich banana bread. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So you've added bananas in there, you've added bread in there. The combination in my mind is already working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some <laughs> sugar and I'm seeing oh, some amazing nuts uh, here. This is a combination of different types of nuts. Uh, yes. But let's talk ingredients, basically. Um, what do we have here? Let's start from here. Okay, so for your banana bread, you've been definitely, you need bananas. Yeah. And I'm going to say this, that you need ripe bananas. Okay. okay, so I'm not saying rotten, but I'm saying ripe bananas because you really need this to be, it's the banana that brings the sweetness to okay. the banana bread. So okay, okay. you need ripe bananas, you need your flour, brown sugar. Brown sugar because, okay, not the regular sugar, brown sugar because that also brings in a kind of texture and sweetness all to right, your right. banana bread as well. I have um, raisins, I have minced nuts, okay. um, mm -hmm. granola if you like, I have granola. coconut, I have powder, milk. I have my spices. Okay, um, so what is cinnamon. This, this is cinnamon. This is yes? cinnamon. Okay. So I, um, I, I want to talk measurements a little because I can see you've measured them here. Mm -hmm. Is this like one spoon, teaspoon, tablespoon? Talk to us. Like a quarter. A quarter. Teaspoon. Oh, okay. As you like it, actually. Really? Some like it so flavorful, so mm. you can actually add more. Okay. More than a quarter. But it doesn't affect the fluffiness of the bread, no, right? No, it does not. Okay, fantastic. All right, so... Um, these are the eggs, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we also have something in bottles here. This is these? vanilla flavor. Okay. I have my vegetable oil. Okay. And so, we are good to go. All right. I can't see any butter here. Right? That was the question I was just going to ask. Okay, so <laughs> that is why we have the vegetable oil. The okay. vegetable oil is a replacement for butter. If you do not... Okay, and, and there's a reason for that. Okay. Because it brings in more moisture ah. into your bread. So it's, it's always better to go with oil okay. or you go with a melted butter if okay. you right. want that okay. and you prefer a particular flavor. <laughs> so you can go with melted butter. All Which right. is healthier. Very, very. <laughs> Which one is healthier, butter or? I go with oil. Oil is, is healthier than? I go with oh, vegetable okay. oil. okay. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, so this is where I, I throw it to Arafa now. Mm -hmm. um, so have you made uh, something like this in your kitchen before? Oh, no, but my daughter loves to cook. And okay. Banana bread is actually one of my faves, so I can't wait to taste yours Ooh. today. All right, <laughs> yeah. fantastic. Mm. So um, I know that you've mentioned your daughter now. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about your kitchen at this point. Okay. But meanwhile, you can grab the bowl and we can start the mixing process, okay. right? Um, so I know that you're going to start mixing ingredients in here, but I, I want to talk about your go-to in your kitchen now. Like uh, you have, uh, I believe you have two kids, yes? Yes, I do. I have a boy and a girl. So we already had a, like a little discussion over there. He, yeah. Uh, Mike said housewife and he mentioned masters and he mentioned, <laughs> you know, and a lot of people don't think about what, you know, mm -hmm. uh, personalities like yourself do in the kitchen. Yes. So what, what is your go-to meal? 
Well, I'm actually a breakfast girl. Oh, okay. Like, I love to whip up like pancakes, waffles, wow. eggs, and all that. Okay. Um, yeah, my go-to in the kitchen, morning, afternoon, evening, breakfast meal. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, all right. So, so the, the, the continental American breakfast, mm -hmm. that's the waffles, scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs, chicken. Oh, wow. Nuggets, you oh. know, sausages, yeah. You do a lot of frying. Um, no, a grill. No, really? Grill? Yeah, grill. grill. Oh, I just okay. put it in the, um, okay. the air fryer. Okay, yeah. fantastic. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Meanwhile, Chef Shion, you're peeling off the banana skins. Yeah? Yes. Um, and I guess after that, we're going to be adding some ingredients to this. Okay. What are we yeah, adding? So, into? the first thing to do is to mash your bananas. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so you can do this with anything. You can do it with your fork. All right. You can wash your hands and get to mash it with. I I like to always um, <laughs> have a direct feel <laughs> of how whatever it is. exactly. So and most I... if I'm home or in my kitchen, I would most definitely use my hands. So what you need to do is to mash <laughs> these bananas. You like. know what, Chef Show? I can see that this is quite a bit of work ahead. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back after this. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria right here on TVC. We have Chef Shion here, and she's mashing away at those bananas with all joy because she understands the flavor that's going to come out of them. If you missed it earlier, we're making banana bread. Uh, we also have in the kitchen the beautiful Arafa. She's here keeping us company today. Um, I, I mentioned earlier that you had some uh, amazing uh, activity on Friday. You oh, want to yes. tell us about it? Oh, yes. I had, um, I unveiled my new collection. Okay. Um, spring, summer called Urban Blossom hmm. and had a fantastic fashion show. Had some celebrities walk the runway and some okay. influencers. It was really, really a good event. Okay. Yes. Now, talk, let's talk about your line. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone has some sort of inspiration, something that, you know, made them go a particular way with their designs. Mm -hmm. What inspired the designs you showcased on Friday? Um, what inspired the whole brand in general was um, trying to find outfits for people like myself okay. who have three sizes. Wait, 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 wait. pause. Yes. Three sizes. Mm -hmm. Is it that three different sizes of outfits can, can fit you or? So. Okay. Let me explain. All right. So. Up top, you have some people that are, okay, for me, for example, up top, I'm a medium. Okay. In the middle, yeah. I'm a small. Okay. And then I'm an extra large. And I'm, then I'm, I'm tall at the bottom. Okay. So, okay. I, it's always, <laughs> as, it has always been really difficult, like, mm. trying to find something off the rack that would be your perfect size without yeah. going to have it, like, tailored. Yeah, sure. You know, so my sister and I decided to go into the... Yeah. Business of creating clothes for people like us that All right. are curvy so, and tall. So I know I'm like a, I think I'm large at the top. I mm -hmm. think I wear large and I wear a double XL down at there. The at and the then bottom. And then I like don't talk minute. about the middle at all. No, you're yeah, like the middle. <laughs> so, yes. So, so my fashion is created for people like you. Okay. Yes. All right. So I, I know that um, it's, it's, Going into any business in Nigeria is risky, mm -hmm. you know. Um, fashion itself, it does feel like a saturated industry as well. Yeah. Um, so when you were going into it, did you have any doubts or anything um, like that? No, not okay. really, because um, business in general, as you said, is risky, but we needed to create something that was lacking in the market, okay. which was clothes for tall and curvy women. Okay. Stylish clothes that are affordable. So okay. my brand is based on affordability. Okay. So we provide luxury items at affordable prices. All right. So okay. it was, once we started, it was actually called Cellar 10K Casuals. Okay. So everything was 10,000 there. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 10K cut. Wow, mm. okay, you know, why didn't I know about it then? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Chef Shion is mixing away. You've added some other ingredients to this, right? Yes. Um? It's more of um, putting all the wet ingredients together. Okay, mm. wet ingredients yeah, all going in. Okay. I have my egg, my oil, the milk. Okay. Rice into it, then the sugar as well. All right. So the question. sugar goes in here yeah. so that um, mm. it can get dissolved. Okay. She's asking a question. So, like for the 
bananas, is there a particular measurement for how many bananas you use? Two to three, okay. Okay. max two to four. Okay. If you really want to have the full taste of banana, okay. then you can go. Then depends on the size of mm, the banana bananas as well. Okay. Okay. It does depend on the size because these look really large for Nigerian bananas. <laughs> yeah. I was actually going to ask if they were imported because I don't know where you got your banana. You need to tell me your supplier <laughs> because <laughs> I usually see the smaller ones out there. Um, now, you said wet ingredients first. We're going to yes. manage the dry ingredients now. Um, but, but I want to touch on uh, the reality show, um, The Real Housewives of Abuja. Yes. And uh, it seems like you guys were getting up to some serious antics on that show. <laughs> Talk to me. How was oh it working God. on a show like that? Um, it was actually very interesting, to be honest. Mm. Um, I must apologize for my voice. I've not... You know, no, it's yeah. fine. Since the event on <laughs> Since Friday, the event on Friday. Okay. So yeah, it it was interesting. Okay. Um, the platform was great. I got into, I got on the show because I wanted to push my brand, and okay. the platform gave me a great opportunity to do that. Sure. So sure. like, I know a lot of people shy away from you know having your privacy invaded like that. Yeah. yeah. You know. But um, it also has some benefits. Okay, okay. Which, yeah. All right. So let, let's talk fan base now. Okay. Um, so a, a lot of people are worried. You mentioned worried about putting their issues out there because yeah. of the responses from the public. Mm -hmm. So what, are there mostly negative or positive comments online? What do you um, think? It's, I, well, positive. Okay. Positive. positive. Okay. Yes. All right. Positive. You still have some rotten eggs there. Okay. <laughs> because obviously it's it's not scripted, yeah. but it is edited. Okay. So they just they judge you based on what they have seen that has been edited on the show. Sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. So that's sure. What of is. course, it is a it's production. They it you is. know it, yeah. you end up watching what the producers want you to see. Uh -huh. But um. When it comes to fan bases, um, you know, what, what's, what's the plan for your fans now? What are you planning for them going forward? Um, well, I have some things mm -hmm. that I'm working on. Okay. But, um, yeah, my fans have been very incredible and supporting. Okay. Um, okay. Like my event here in Lagos, yeah. I had tons of people show up. Okay, okay. Based, based from the show. Okay. And when I do my sips and shops around as well, right. I have people turn up for the name of... Real Housewives that okay. haven't met me, so yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I, I actually really wonder what I would do on a show like that. What's the? Because I was some nice drama. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. It's all about giving the drama, right? I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm dramatic it's, enough, though. I do. No, it's I not necessarily about giving drama. Okay. People are like, oh, uh, they want the drama, but trust me. Are you sure? Just, yeah. Just be okay. yourself and, you know. You always almost expect the show to want you to do something crazy on the show. I don't know. Um, and I feel like it's a lot of pressure. It is. There is pressure. But I just say don't, get, don't let the pressure get to you. Just be yourself and, you All know. All right. Yeah, sometimes, of course, some people step on your toes, but... Mm. All right. Yeah. Stepping on people's toes on TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Now, uh, Chef Shion is still mixing away. What have we added? Uh, okay, so we have all the ingredients mixed in right now. Okay, so let's take the ingredients one more time. We have brown. All your white ingredients. You have the egg, yeah. the oil, yeah. the flavor, um, your milk. Yeah. Then you go in with sugar. Brown mm -hmm. sugar, yeah. Yes, brown sugar. Okay. And then your flour. All then right. uh, the banana bread actually gets uh, more interesting at this point. Oh. That you are, you are done mixing. Okay. Because you can actually have variants. Mm -hmm. So you decide whatever you want to go into your bread. Mm. For instance, you can decide to have a chocolate banana bread. Ooh. And then you go in with chocolate nibs, oh. choc mm. melted chocolate. Mm. You decide nice. to have a coconut banana bread oh, and you have okay. all that. And all that. So all right. that is the interesting point. And I'm done okay. mixing. All right, so, so we what are we doing sets. next then? What are we doing? We are okay, set. you have a big yes. dish there. We are set okay. to, to dish it out. Dish it out. Okay. And so this is going to go into the oven, the oven, right? How long would it take? In the oven. In the oven. Like it, 30 minutes. Oh. Hmm, 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Because ovens are calibrated differently. Okay. Yeah. You can always check intermittently yeah. to know yeah. whether oh, your oh. bread is ready or not. With yeah. a skewer, yeah. you check right at the middle that you know if it's ready or not. All right, okay. so I've put it on to heat up now. Um, it's preheating at this point. 
The oven is getting nice and hot behind us here. Should I step aside? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's on right there. Um, these baking trays are just so cute as well. You know. All right, so in the Looking next 20, 20 to 25 minutes, we should have some really nice banana bread. Exciting stuff. Um, now, my kids have <coughs> told me a few times that there are some meals I've prepared for them that they did not like. Um, <clears throat> they didn't say mommy is not a good cook. <laughs> That's not what they said. They just said there are some specific meals that they think I should cook less of. Like what? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not going to say it. Aww. But uh, if I have to ask you, I know mm. you have kids. Uh, is there anything you wish you could cook yourself? Mm. What do you think? Soups. Really? Like, oh. yes. Okay, the like, native soups? Like, yes, like Nigerian soups. So I grew up in a household with Tanzanians. Oh. Yes, my mom okay. is Tanzanian. Okay. So you can imagine, like, you know, Tanzanian tried to prepare. So growing up, I never liked Nigerian dishes because, <gasps> yes. Oh, no. Because they tasted awful. Oh, no. So, yes. And then you go to a boarding school. Okay. And then it's like, oh, it's even worse. So growing up, I didn't like. So in my adult age right now, okay. um, you know, <laughs> tasting real Nigerian soups. I'm like, okay, this isn't so bad. Okay. I would okay. love to learn how to make soups. All right, so you need to watch more of Wake Up Nigeria. I think I do. Because every episode we have a new chef coming up with some other native style mm. soup or the other. In fact, there's just such a long list. You can even go onto YouTube. In fact, you should go onto YouTube as well and check out some past episodes. And our chefs have always thrown down in the kitchen. The kinds of things that have been prepared in the kitchen, unbelievable. Oh, wow. Um, now, what, yes. what, are we, what are we doing this here? This is a point now? where... You get creative with your banana bread. Okay. In terms of outlook and all. Yeah. So I get to top it with nuts. Okay. I get to top it with chocolates. I get Ooh. to top it with banana itself. If I really, no. really oh, want really? it to be. Banana? So, yes. Oh. I get to top it with bananas. And you can, that's the beauty of the banana bread. You can have variants. Mm. Okay. As in, just play away and wow. you're eating LD as well. Okay. So you can have it this way. All right, fantastic. So what would, what would you say um, the calories that would be in this little? Oh, uh, well, for that, <laughs> can't tell. No, you can't tell the number of calories or you don't want, want to. to tell. <laughs> I can't tell. Okay, okay I can't tell mm. now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. So I'm going to act like I'm not trying to take these um, dried fruit and eat them privately. Um, I'm, I'm going to act like I'm not going to take the final banana that's somewhere around there. Um, but I'm also going to help you possibly put these in the oven, right? We're ready for the oven now, ready. I believe. Yes, All right, so let's open the oven behind me here. Ooh, Ooh it's nice and hot, nice and hot. Perfect. Chef, please do the honors. Do you want it at the top or middle? I think top is top, fine. Top is fine? All right. Go ahead, do your thing. Okay, now that's what we're looking forward to now. Looking good, already. It is. Can't it already wait. feels good. <laughs> Let me put the light on there. Uh, can you see what it looks like from there? Let's see if you can see it. Fantastic. Sweet. Ooh. Okay. So, at this point, we've done all we can do. Now the oven needs to do the work. Thank you so much, Yeshil. And thank you so much, Arafa, thank you for so hanging much. out with us. And congratulations on the line. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't invite me for your fashion show, but oh it's fine. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's my fine. gosh. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'll just take one outfit. That's all. I have. I have. <laughs> I'm pulling your legs, but not really. But um, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. There's still so much more coming your way on Wake Up Nigeria. Okay, so it's been a marvelous Monday so far, am I right? It has been, yeah. it has been, it has been, and yeah. breakfast is here. It is great to have you, you all. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. This is what we've been looking forward to. The banana bread Ooh. is ready. Wow, okay, so uh, everything is showing all the, um, what did you call them, mixed nuts? Mixed nuts, yeah. Mixed nuts are showing with the dried fruits. Yes, amazing, amazing. Mike, do, do. No, no, I'm just confirming that. Yeah. <laughs> he is our quality control <laughs> officer. Officer. All right, so that's how it looks right now. Uh, you should show us how your banana bread looks. This thing looks uh, like. 
decoration. Like, I don't want to eat it. I just want to keep it on my mantle. Yeah. Or something and just decorate my house. Or something. So hopefully you are following at home and you made your own. And we have Arafa here. And she's going to give it a taste and let us know what mm. she thinks. All right. Okay. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. <laughs> oh, it's moist already. Mm. So, so you mentioned that it was moist. Yes. Because you said we're using vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Okay. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. So, what do you think? Very rich. Oh, okay. Said. All right. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That's what we want to hear. Oh my God, it's good. All right. Please, you go ahead and eat and enjoy it. See, when, do you watch the show? What's, what's her character like on the show? Um, <laughs> so, is, it, so, is it disruptive? What kind of, um, what kind of, what kind of Well, let's just it? say, out of all the names that yeah. keep popping up when you yeah. actually search for the show, okay. the hers tends to pop up first. So that means she's disruptive? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those catching things no. that maybe um, have, oh, Are you the calm one? Which, which, how do people describe you on the show? I'm the balanced one. Oh, balanced one. Like the balanced one. She gives, but she also Yeah, takes. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much, thank Chef, you, for Charles. everything. Mm -hmm. Hi, Chef. All right. It's been a wonderful show. Thank yes, you, Rafa, for coming on the show. Thank you And uh, he has me. wishing you the best. Uh, thank you. Keep flying. Thank you. We will see morning. you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us for the Easter Monday Wellness episode. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.